Amazon's natural beauty and tremendous biodiversity attract tourists in search of exotic adventures. Nevertheless, this region can be just as dangerous as it is lovely. Visitors should know about Amazon's primary dangers before traveling to plan for a safer trip. Or probably after today's video, you won't be desiring to visit the Amazon anymore. Number 10. Wildlife The chance to get up close and intimate with Amazonian wildlife is one of the main reasons people visit the region. Still, wild animals also present one of the primary threats. Opposite to Hollywood depictions of the Amazon rainforest, most animals do not evilly attend to hunt down humans. However, the rainforest is brimful with creatures that will attack in self-defense. Images of jaguars, alligators, anacondas, and piranhas appear when thinking of the most formidable animals in the Amazon. Besides, the rainforest houses various species of small venomous creatures like snakes and frogs. Yet, the most common problems arise from encounters with blood-sucking leeches and the health issues as mentioned earlier, involving disease-carrying mosquitoes. All travel guides recommend wearing sturdy boots and pants when hiking in the jungle to cover yourself from bites. Always check your boots or shoes before wearing them to make sure no small creatures have crawled inside. Pack plenty of insect repellent, anti-itch cream, and a mosquito net to keep out pests when you sleep. Still, there are some animals you will never want to meet. No repellent or cream will help in an encounter with them, but later on, so make sure to watch till the end of the video. Number 9. Getting Lost The Amazon rainforest covers territory in nine South American countries. According to Hillman Wonders of the World, around two-thirds of the rainforest lies in Brazil, while roughly 13% is in Peru. Other countries with smaller pieces of the Amazon rainforest are Bolivia, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, French Guiana, and Suriname. The Amazon River snakes its way into the jungle and beyond the continent. At more than 3,900 miles, it is officially the second longest river in the world. Now, imagine yourself getting lost on that kind of enormous territory. What if you lose your tour guide or your cell phone battery gets down and no power bank to save the day? No chance you will get out alive from that hard-walking jungle. Being eaten or getting sick will be the least of the nightmares you can encounter. Number 8. Piranhas Can you imagine anything more amusing than stepping into a river and having your flesh torn off by razor-teethed fish? Right. Contrary to many things in the Amazon that don't really pose a statistically real danger to humans, piranha attacks on humans actually happen. 15 people were injured at a famous river beach in Brazil in 2009 after piranhas attacked them. In 2011, a drunk and probably suicidal 18-year-old man jumped out of a canoe in Bolivia. He bled to death after being struck by piranhas. Number 7. Transportation Transportation is one of the most significant issues in Amazon. It is minimal, with dense jungles and hundreds of rivers making it challenging to get very far on the few primitive roads crossing the region. The initial means of entry into the Amazon is by aircraft. The cities of Manaus in Brazil and Iquitos in Peru have airports connecting flights to the outer world. Charter jets are available to some jungle destinations from these main hubs. Still, the most popular way to get around is by boat. Smaller craft is ideal for short distances while larger barges and pontoons provide long-distance transport to ports on the Amazon River and its tributaries. Number 6. Anacondas Some snakes need venom to kill prey. Have you seen anacondas? They don't need anything additional. Since the ordinary adult is 15 feet long and around 100 pounds, they squeeze anything to death. If you weigh about 130 pounds or less, you're in the range of animals that anacondas will prey upon. They unusually attack humans. The big meals they devour are more like tapirs, D, capybara, or caiman, the largest rodent globally at 80 to 150 pounds on average. Number 5. Weather Weather also creates dangerous conditions in the Amazon rainforest. The top of the wet season in the Amazon continues from October to May, with weighty rains in March and April. Rains wash out roads and make the water levels to rise substantially in the Amazon River and the hundreds of connecting tributaries. This leads to flooding as well as mighty river currents that have been known to sink boats. 
you should try traveling to the Amazon between June and September when weather conditions are more favorable. Number 4. Black Cayman The black cayman is a crocodile type that can grow around 16 to 20 feet long and has no known rivals. It is voracious, lives in slow-moving fresh water, and will challenge anyone, including you. And you will probably lose. Other types of caimans do have predators, but not the black ones. Number 3. Sickness Tourists are especially apt to sickness while traveling in the Amazon rainforest. The great threat comes from mosquitoes carrying malaria and yellow fever. These are both severe illnesses, so get the appropriate vaccinations before you go to the Amazon. Tourists may also get sick from the local food and water. Even comparatively clean food and water sometimes contain different bacteria and microorganisms that foreigners' immune systems are not used to be disturbed with. This can lead to fever, diarrhea, and dehydration. Always drink bottled water and make sure your food is fresh and properly washed to reduce your chances of getting sick. Number 2. Tribes Numerous indigenous communities exist everywhere in the dense jungles and snaking rivers of the Amazon. The largest groups are the Corubo and Yanomami clans of Brazil, and Peru's Matsis. Some tribes have adapted lightly to better accommodate tourists. Still, the primitive means of survival and ancient traditions remain intact for the most part. Adventure travelers can see how locals have succeeded in living in harmony with the rainforest over the centuries, free from the outside world's construction and distractions. However, it is not desirable to visit tribes on your own. You must use a trusted tour company such as Amazon Adventures of Brazil if you plan on going to any of the isolated indigenous villages in the region. A professional guide will facilitate transportation and cross-cultural communication while taking appropriate safety precautions. Going on an exploration of the wildest tribes on your own will end up with you being stuffed with spears and arrows just like the plane on our thumbnail. Number 1. Candiru, the Penis Burrowing Fish One of the most chilling dangers of the Amazon is also the most controversial. The candiru is a catfish known to swim into the urethra, vagina, or anus. Its removal is difficult or near impossible, all thanks to spines that lay flat as it enters but prevent retraction if it is pulled backward. Just hearing about this bugger is enough to make you shudder. Ugh, oh, sorry about that. Rumors of the parasite date to the early 1800s. Many were debunked, but in 1891, there was a documented case of a candiru entering a vagina. A doctor turned it around and removed it head first. Then, in 1997, a poor guy became the first to get one stuck in his junk. Despite the doctor's testimony that removed it and the fish's preserved body, that case too has been questioned. But you know, why take chances? No skinny dipping in the Amazon. Now you know how well prepared and equipped you must be daring to enter Amazon rainforests. Or better, pick a peaceful place like Bruges in Belgium and take a trip there. Watch some old buildings and save yourself some health.